So I had my lab partner back with me, my son's cameraman. We're, we're, we're trying to figure out how temperature will affect evaporation and condensation. So we can only use what we have in the lab. So that would be our hands and we have ice cubes and then the hot and the cold water. So my husband's keeping his hands around the room temperature bottle. I don't know if maybe he should move it on the bottle, if he should move it onto the water. We'll try some different things. I'm going to work with the hot water while he is trying to do something to change the temperature of the room temperature. So we need to cool this down. So I've got ice and we can run that along here. We want to see if we're going to have any difference to our cloud formation or our evaporation if we're cooling this down. Are you noticing any difference in your room temperature bottle? No difference yet? Maybe it'll take a while. It appears there's a slight pressure change in the hot water bottle. It looks like we have some change in our amount of evaporation or condensation in this bottle. You can hear the pressure change. You can see it too. I don't know. Can you get that on the video? That it's pushing in. Are you noticing any difference in the room temperature bottle? So if we're not noticing a difference whenever we do it on the plastic, I wonder what happens if you put your hands down onto the water and if that's going to change anything. Oh wow, we can see the difference up here in the room where we have the ice being rubbed on the hot water. And look down here, there's a less condensation there. Make sure you're writing the observations into your table and your lab sheet. Well, there's a definite pressure change. Are you noticing anything in the room temperature? bottle yet. 